We have practical exam day. We are starting the exam in Bad Zodenham town is at the Esso gas station. And we will finish the exam in Hofheim am Taunus at the TÜV Service Center. We just finished a motorcycle uh, exam. The motorcyclist here on the right side. And now the student must leave the Esso gas station to the right side. Bitte rechts abbiegen. Please turn right. No pedestrians crossing. Just checking the traffic from the roundabout from the left side. Waiting time is planning time. And here we go, we are in the game. The main road in Bad Soden speed limit is 50. We have a priority road. You can see that we have the yellow priority road sign on the sides, on the right side. Little bit stuck traffic because of the uh, traffic lights and perfectly uh, pos perfect position to wait because we need to keep intersections free if there is a traffic jam. Back to green light and we can go on driving the main road through Bad Soden. Because we need to finish the exam in Hofheim am Taunus, the examiner said that we go direct way to the highway and then we are quickly in Hofheim am Taunus. Next red traffic light, which is not bad for an exam. Sunny day. No rain, no wiper, that's good. So there are two lanes going straight to the highway, belonging to the direction board. And that's why we are not turning left or right here. And he immediately took the right of the two lanes because by law, outside the city, it's not allowed to drive permanently on the left lane if you have more than one lane or in the center lane if you have three lanes if you are not overtaking you have to take the right the rightest possible lane and that's not valid if you have a traffic light like here or if you have arrows on the ground also like here or if there's a traffic jam, it it is stuck traffic and then it's also allowed to overtake on the right side. Here is the speed limit, 60 kilometers per hour. Highway is still straight. Not very difficult yet.
but you can already think about why is this video only 15 minutes or 15 and a half minutes long the exam time the driving time in the exam is longer we are not talking about the whole exam time all the talking and all the uh, id check that's not driving time but it's exam time so here we always see only the driving time but 15 minutes 15 and a half minutes is a little bit short for an exam and you can already read the title of this exam it's a failed exam so here is a nice change to the left side even if it's a little bit crowded on the left lane communication is the key so you have to uh, check the mirror and indicate left and then you could see that the silver mercedes car was immediately releasing the accelerator the the space between the cars got bigger then my student did the blind spot changed and he was in the on the left side of the road because the right lane ended so we had to merge So speed limit is coming down to 50. So we are braking, the others probably not. <laughs> and we take the highway direction A66 Wiesbaden. Bitte fahren Sie weiter Richtung Autobahn Wiesbaden. Oh, little change, no problem. <laughs> not our mistake. It's his failing point, not our. So we are in the curve system just before the highway. And here's the last right curve. We start indicating left in the last right curve that they see our indicator very early. Ah, nice. The rightest lane of the highway is completely free. So we accelerate and integrate with a speed of over 90. We have to be faster than highway speed. Oh, what is he doing? He's overtaking on the right side. We are on a highway and that was a car he was overtaking on the right side. Oh, 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 oh. here's the next one. We are already on the highway, we are integrated and he is overtaking on the right side. Two cars behind each other. Wow, he was just speeding up, his lane was free, they were a little bit slower. Whoa, watch the distance. The lines are 6 meters long and the intervals between the lines are 12 meters long. So that's with a speed of over 100, it's a little bit too short. And again, oh, the distance to the red car is too short. If the car is braking, we almost have no chance to come out of that. Okay, but we are back on the right side. Oh, motorcycle, center lane. Oh, look, that's a space. That's 12 meters distance with a speed of over 100. Ah, oh, that was strange. One or two minutes of driving, strange. Now in the back camera you can see the shadow of the white car and he was indicating left all the time. He wanted to, to move to the left side and the white car didn't want that because right side was free. So he accelerated a little bit to uh, make clear that he will be in front of us. Yeah. And then he switched the indicator left off and he kept in the center lane to overtake the little truck here. Yeah, but that was already, yeah, that was not good. That was one, two, three, four, five failing points. But he didn't know yet. 
he was driving all the time here he is about to overtake on the right side again no he released or the other one accelerated uh, anyhow we did not overtake on the right side again but we already showed the examiner that we are able to do this twice which is not good so everyone except of the student knew that this exam was over but we cannot stop on the highway to tell the examiner a hey, that's it so we were going on and then we needed to leave uh, the highway we, uh, at the next no it's not and generally it's not the next at the next uh, possible uh, exit which is nearest to the TÜV ser service center in Hofheim and that was not this exit here on the right so he told him here please take the next exit to Hofheim and Kriftel and I don't know what's written on it Epstein I think Epstein Hofheim Kriftel yes so please take the next exit and take the rightest possible lane to Epstein Hofheim Kriftel so checking the right side is good staying there check again mirror indicator blind spot and then reducing speed to 50 to 60 for the curve please turn right to Hofheim Kriftel and Epstein a light right curve over here with an own lane bitte bleiben sie in diesem Fahrstreifen und biegen rechts ab Please stay in this lane and turn right. Now the examiner is searching for a space where he can stop the car and tell the student that he failed. And here on the right side there are many many big companies with parking lots and he will just take one free spot and then we stop the car and then the student gets told that he failed. green traffic lights and we can start please turn left to the private property the oncoming traffic has the priority that's why they are driving and not stopping now they have a little bit of traffic jam because of the red light behind us and the other one is keeping the entrance free thank you very much and we enter please turn left again and then we just search for a free spot where we can stop the car search search on here on the left side is one students went in forward and stopped the car in this position now what happens uh, we are in the middle of nowhere we are a little bit away from the truth service center so we are changing the seating places and the instructor is driving so I was driving back to the TÜV service center in Hofheim let's talk a little bit while we are driving back to Hofheim let's talk a little bit about the highway there are four holy rules you need to know for the exam there are probably 200 other rules you need to know for later if you are driving on the highway rule number one is how to enter a highway and he did a good job 
using the blinker very early in the last right curve indicate left accelerate your car look into your left mirror and integrate into a spot do not drive next to each other because you cannot change if directly on the left side a car is driving probably you can overtake on the right side on the acceleration lane or you can release your accelerator and stay behind the cars on the right lane in our case here in the exam there was no problem because the entire right lane was free rule number two if you overtake someone it's only allowed to overtake on the left side on the right side it's not allowed only if it, in a traffic jam if it's the speed less than 80 then it's allowed to be 20 kilometers per hour faster than the left lane okay generally overtake on the left side rule number three after overtaking if there's a big spot go back to the right side it's not allowed to drive permanently on the center lane or on the left lane why because there, there is rule number two for other people it's only allowed to overtake you on the left side and that's why you have to move to the right side you see the trucks for example if you drive on a highway you see lots of trucks they are all driving on the right side but not if they are overtaking each other but if they are done with overtaking then they drive back to the right side because the law says drive on the right side if you don't overtake someone and finally rule number four is leaving the highway in a correct way which means at 300 meter sign start the indicator right do not reduce speed less than 100 on a highway stay over 100 then as soon as the uh, braking lane is there change early to the right side use the braking lane from the very beginning and reduce your speed to around 50 or 60 for the first right curve at the end of the exit and if you remember those rules and those rules you're training all the time with your instructor that's the sense and that's the content of highway lessons integrating leaving integrating leaving and in the meantime you overtake someone and after overtaking you come back and if you train that a lot it's perfect for you and this was another failed driving exam <laughs>